first tonight, most dogs love a nice ride in the car, but usually there's a human behind the wheel. Right. A pair of dogs, though, didn't make it far after getting their master's car moving in a Walmart parking lot while the master was inside shopping. News Channel 3's Andrew Colgrove has the story. Shoppers couldn't believe who was behind the wheel after a car crashed into the Wayne Walmart. I didn't know dogs could drive. An employee says she was on a break when she noticed a car in this space started moving slowly toward her. As the car inched closer, she assumed the driver maybe was somebody she knew who was messing with her until she saw this face in the driver's seat. Dogs can be your best friends, and they can, in this situation, they can be your enemy too. <laughs> the car crashed into the front of the building. The employee says a second dog in the passenger seat then pushed the car window down. After the accident, a store employee says they paged the owner of the car, who turned out to be a woman they described as appearing in her late 70s. She says she left her car running so her dogs could stay cool while she was shopping. The Wayne County Sheriff's Department says the dog had knocked the car out of park. No, it's on you every day. But I guess, I mean, it is Wayne County. What would go through your head if you actually saw a dog coming straight at you behind the wheel of a car? I would laugh for sure, and then I'd be like, oh, wow, dogs can drive. Leaving outweighed Walmart shoppers wondering what barriers our canine friends will try to break through next. Next thing you want to see them shopping or something? Officers say the car and building only suffered very minor damage, and those dogs were just fine despite not wearing their seat belts. Andrew Colgrove, WSAZ News Channel 3, Wayne. That elderly woman was able to drive her car and her dogs home following that accident.